Nothing. Okay. We've done capital cities from above. We've done UK cities above 50,000 population. The only reasonable follow on from that is world cities with at least 1K population. Basically, any village in the world, basically anywhere in the world, apart from a barren patch of land in the Sahara. Um, I don't see how I'm going to get any here. I don't see how this is possible. Um, I don't think I will get any bang on. I think it will be a case of, ooh, does this look like Africa? Does it look like the jungle? And then just guessing and just seeing how far away I am. Unless we happen to get a huge city. Let's find out. I will make a challenge link just in case any of you have all the necessary plugins for this. Um, all of that is explained on this map, which I'll link in the description. And let's begin what could be a very arduous, very difficult session of GeoGuessr. Full screen and away. How are we all doing, all right? Great. Good start. Okay. Okay, we're in. First one. Okay. We do have a lake there on the left. Now, this will lag a little bit, guys. Uh, it's just the way that this plugin is. So we've got a lake. Um, feels pretty remote. I think this is Europe though. Judging by the houses and the fields. Still a bit bunged up, sorry. Yeah, that looks, you know, Balkan, Italian. I can zoom right in. Looks... Uh, Definitely European to me. Um, and we got this bit of land. We can almost tell how far south we are looking at this sort of thing. But, you know, maybe it's not Europe. Maybe it's Brazil or something. Can we see what side of the road we're on? Looks like that car's on the left. But it, it's, no, it's impossible to, to tell. So, unsure about the side of the road, but I'd be surprised if it was the left side. Um, I wonder... Oh, no, that doesn't make any sense. I was going to say, can you tell from the shadows being cast where the sun is? But we're way up. Would there be shadows? You'd still be able to see shadows, wouldn't you? Here's the town in question. Maybe we can see something here. Uh, road markings or something. Some tall buildings there for a start. It's making me think could it be Brazil or something? There tends to be more tall buildings in Brazil. Places like that. It does look like they're driving on the left, man. You can see the wings, the windscreen. And you can see shadow. A shadow there that's coming from the south. So, if what I've come up with so far is correct, we're in the northern hemisphere, but we're driving on the left, then where the hell could this be? Because it sure as hell ain't Britain. I don't think it could be anywhere, could it? So I think I must be wrong on at least one of those counts. No, they're driving on the right. Why did I think they were driving on the left? Did I think this was the road here? Yeah, it's that's the right. This is the left. It's a dual carriageway. Sorry. This could be a long one if my brain's operating in that sort of way. Um, so, okay, that's better. We're driving on the right, but we're in the northern hemisphere. That is much better because that unlocks the whole of Europe pretty much. Um, right, good. Personally, I'm thinking this looks like um, Portugal right now. 
We're not going to be able to zoom in to the registration plates to see if they're yellow on the right hand side. This is the actual city in question up here. Um, right guys, basically I've got to look for this lake. We could be in Italy. Oh, don't get me wrong, we could be in other places. I imagine there's going to be a couple of speed ups in this video while I search for things. But that lake, it seems like the kind of man-made reservoir that they have in Portugal. So I'm just going to get in the map and have a little look in Portugal. And we can't be too far north, but not too far south either. So let's get that shape there. And you know, these, these, they're, they're all... I think most of them are reservoirs. So, yeah, I'm going to have a little scan about. See if I can find the lake in question. And I'll speed it up. Unless I find it in a couple of seconds. In which case, I won't need to speed it up, will I? Okay, I d yeah, I don't think it's in uh, Portugal. I've searched it, so... Uh, although it is hard to say exactly how big the lake is because we can't zoom out that far. Like, how big would it appear on the map? You know, would it be that sort of size? Would it be that sort of size? Uh, I think fairly big, luckily. So, I'm moving to Italy now, I think, because I, I think it's too... It doesn't look like Spain. It's too sort of green. So, yeah, moving over to Italy and again... I won't bore you, I'll speed it up. Now thinking about it, it really doesn't look like Italy. The tall buildings, it doesn't look historic enough. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna, well, I've, I've pretty much done it now, but Italy doesn't quite add up. I'm gonna check Albania, um, all of these Balkan countries now. Um, which shouldn't take me too long. And then we'll have to rethink things a bit. France, maybe. So here we go in the Balkans. How about that? It's got to be it. Yeah, that's it. What country is that in? Macedonia? It's in Kosovo or Serbia, depending on how you view that. So don't argue and tell me I'm wrong. Different countries have different viewpoints. I don't know. Um, you'd be surprised the amount of people comment saying, Kosovo is not a country, you son of a... Anyway, back to the task at hand. We found the lake. That's fantastic. I knew it didn't look too Italian. But either way, we move to the town, which should be that one, shouldn't it? I think it is. Rahovec. Ah, but this isn't the one with the tall buildings in it. Right, okay. Yeah, this is it, I think, because we've got the... Uh, got a football pitch there. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, so we've done the first one. Although, wait a minute, that isn't adding up at all. Yeah, that's adding up. This road isn't on here, though. Uh, that's just completely different. That looks about right. Let's make the guess first. Four yards. Okay, good. At least the marker was in the right place. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, we've done the first one, but I, I, I think the fact that it was in Europe, if it's in Europe, I've got a good chance, I think. But, you know, Asia, Africa, South America, no chance. So, lucky, perhaps, to get a good first round. Next one, things could definitely be slower and harder. And that's the kind of thing I think, oh, wait, but we do have a big lake again. What the hell is this? What are these floating around? Is that my screen? 
or is that part of the plugin? I don't know, or a bit of both. Um, this lake is everything. That's very, very important. Let's zoom in on the town and see what it looks like. What corner of the world could that be? Um, Africa. I'm so sorry about these flying things on my screen. Can you even see them? Can only imagine you can, so I'm sorry about that. It's like we're, it's like solar rain coming down from space because we're up in space. Right, I think that's Africa. So, can we find that lake? And this is our town that we're at. It's very interesting looking. This is the biggest place, I think. We do have a football pitch. Yeah, that would point to Africa rather than Asia, but not necessarily. It's just more popular. This, these are interesting though. I'm really unsure. I'm looking forward to getting into the map. Um, I just wondered if I could see any shadows or... It looks like the shadows are pretty much directly down. Driving on the left, look, you can see the, wing, uh, the windshields. Uh, so driving on the left, that's helpful. That is going to narrow some, some places out, isn't it? It's going to rule some places out. Right, into the map we go, and I'm hoping, I mean, that lake looks huge. Are we in Kenya? Are we there? No, but, and it doesn't really look like Kenya either. Of course, we could be in countries that we don't usually get, ones that I don't know what side of the road they drive on, so got to bear that in mind. You know, it could be in... Ivory Coast, uh, but it does look like a sort of man-made, sorry, a natural lake, rather than a man-made one, uh, but let's have a look, I'm just looking in places like Ghana at the moment, but yeah, we could be anywhere, Togo, looking for that lake, again, hard to know how big it is. How big or small it is. And we can also only see the one side of it as well. So, yes, yeah, this, uh, this is new. This is a new experience. Okay, leave it with me. I'm going to search for a few lakes. And the moment that I find one that matches up, you'll be the first to know about it. Yes, you. How about this one? Lake Rukwa. No. It's... The northern shore of that one is completely constant. As curves round like a sort of horse's head. It is like a very slender horse's head. So looking out for horsey. Might not be in Africa, of course. And with each pan, that gets more and more likely. And I am running out of places because it can't be that far north and it can't be South Africa. It just doesn't, it's just not it. I can tell from the building. So just like that, Mozambique doesn't have many lakes, does it? Bloody hell. Just like that, Africa, I think is... All but ruled out. Yeah, I might have missed something. So we can't be any further north than like South Sudan. There's just Norway. And that's it, guys. Uh, so Africa ruled out. I can't see it being... Unless we're up here in some of these places that I've never really searched, but... Can't see it being South America. But we should get this. Because if I've if I've scoured Africa that quickly. Then we should be able to. 
search our next continent, which will be... It's, we've got to be on these islands. Indonesia, Papua New... I'm starting to think Papua New Guinea is quite likely. Let's check it out. Unless I've totally got the size of this lake all wrong and I was looking for way bigger lakes than I should have done. Can't see how it would be Papua New Guinea actually. Those cities were quite big. Oh, this is interesting. How about Indonesia? I think we need this. We need... I think I need Indonesia. What about this Lake Poso? Again, that has got similarities, but it's not it. Come on, Borneo, come on. To be fair, we could be in just mainland Asia, China. I don't know. Um, Myanmar, places like that, who knows. Um, but we're on Sumatra at the moment. What about that one? That's it. Yeah, that's it. Oh, thank God. Yeah, that makes sense. This, yeah, I, I, I thought to these islands, Indonesia, before mainland Asia. You can see the kind of two boobs there poking out. Uh, you can see the top of the lake. Took me a second to figure it out, but basically it's only not showing a very small section of the lake. So Aripan, Solok, we've looked at, but our place is this long, thin one over here. Punchak. Okay, bit of work to do. This is quite tricky. Wrong about the football pitch in Africa. Obviously, they play football all around the world. Uh, right, let's get in here. Yeah, this is it. There's a sports pitch here, uh, which is there. So we should be basically about there, guys. Nine yards, that'll do. We were in the water, it turns out. So, going better than I thought, helped massively by the two lakes, the two respective lakes. Um, now we have a river, a river delta. What can we make of this? This, again, looks gettable. Is that the Suez Canal? That looks kind of man-made there. Here we are, here's our town, here's our city. Um, and yeah, it's a big industrial, look at that, big port, big massive port in the desert. Oil terminals, no, just cranes, cargo, um, facing south. Is that the Suez? Where does it go? kind of doesn't go anywhere up there which makes me think that's not the Suez Suez would be more it would stay stay wide but I'm pretty hopeful here this has got to be in a pretty rich country look at these junctions that they've built leading to nowhere what's all that about why would they build those there's got to be are they for future projects? There's got to be money there. There's got to be surplus. More money than cents. I'm going in. Because I'm thinking of rich countries like Saudi Arabia. Can't be United Arab Emirates because it's all north facing. But what about up here? Kuwait. Are we here? Maybe, maybe not. We need a big island. Yeah, that's it. That's our island. There's our port, Umkasa. Wow, I can't believe how swimmingly this is going. Let's just get the, the pin down in the right place. But just 
fairly easy to, to work it out there. Desert, rich country, south facing, rich port. Can't be anywhere other than Saudi, Kuwait, Bahrain, that sort of thing. And the geography just matched up. I don't think that was really too difficult. But you do have to know a little bit about stuff. Right, the road bends round here. Pretty interesting place. These are places I never get to see on GeoGuessr, let alone from above, although I could any time. Um, we're obviously on this bit here. Um, I need to get this right. I think we're more like there, but again, nothing's adding up on the map. No, I'd say we're more there, are we? I'm not so sure. That's interesting. This shape here is that is that big car park looking thing. You can tell, I think. Yeah, so I think I'm fairly happy. Ten yards, good, thank God. Last but one. I wonder if I've been lucky or whether things are going to get harder. No, that's that's easy. That's Cornwall. That is Penzance. Um, near the oh, what was the pub called? I was I thought it'd be funny to name a pub that I went to in the summer, but I, I can't remember it. Just in case that we were by it. Um, yeah, that's Penzance in Cornwall. I can recognise the coastline very easily. Looked at Britain a lot, of course. So this will be a pretty quick one. Lovely part of Britain, by the way. Uh, if any of you were planning to do like a month's tour of Britain in a camper van, Penzance is a must. Oh, we're right in the middle by the Tremon here, Weatherspoon. And we're in the middle of there, it seems. I'm happy with that, two yards. That was a speedy one. And the last one, will this be harder? Will this test me? We do have a lake, this wiggly one here. We do have red pools, quarries, lots of, yeah, lots of quarries. Big one here, but the rest of it the 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 colours and the terrains don't jump out of me particularly so I don't know if this is Europe or or what um, let's get into the town which is quite big the towns have been quite big actually overall um, but let's see if we can figure out what continent we're on um, this looks like it might be very hot Southern Hemispherean, maybe. Looks like Australia from above, but let's have a look. Uh, it could be America, couldn't it? If we can see which way the cars are going, that'll be grand. Hard to tell. It does look like America the more I look at it, the way it's so spread out. But I don't know about the buildings. Looks like the sun is in the north and that looks like an Aussie rules pitch so the more I look at it yeah yeah look at those arrows on the road there they're pointing to turn left so this is Australia I'm fairly sure so let's zoom back out the trees look quite piney so I don't think we'll be too far north in Australia. Um, yeah. Somewhere in Australia. Fairly south. Maybe a bit inland. And then we've got the reservoir. So we should get this. Should get it. I'm, I'm going to look sort of down this way. This sort of neck of the woods first. Wiggly Lake like this. Don't say this is it already. No. Similar kind of thing though. The quarries 
we're not really going to be able to see. So we're looking for the lake. The lake is basically... Oh, is that it? No, but there are similarities. These lakes, of course, are man-made reservoirs. You can tell they've all got a distinctive look about them because they're basically valleys. You know, the the shapes of the, the, the valleys become the lake. Um, let's look a bit further north then, I think. Could definitely be a bit further north. Again, it's hard to know just how big or small this lake is. Uh, yeah, I mean, I might as well speed this up for you because this is, again, just mundane searching for the most part. See you in a sec. That's the one, I think. Yeah, there it is. So Collie is the town, Western Australia. Didn't think that it looked like Western Australia, really, um, because of the more piney, I'm sure they're not pine, but the more, you know, less tropical looking trees that we've got. Um, but we are quite far south. We're lower down than Perth. I'm sure it's much cooler or a bit cooler. Wellington Reservoir is the name of the reservoir. Looks lovely. And yeah, it is Collie. And the. Is it or is it Allenson? No, that's Allenson. Yeah, we're in Collie. Just can't see the, uh, the thingies on the map, the quarries. Anyway, forget the quarries. We're into Collie and. We're basically in this, is it a school or a hospital? I think that's a school. In fact, I think I can just make out Jonah Takalua there, bullying Oranga. Yeah. Collie Senior High School. What's it like? Any of you go there? I've got a really romantic, nostalgic view of like Aussie high schools, Aussie schools, just from shows that we'd watch as a kid. Like, Round the Twist and Snobs. Anyone watch Snobs? I don't think that aired in Australia, funnily enough. Only Britain. Anyway, I'm trying to size this up, match this up as I'm talking, and it doesn't fit. So, what do I do here? Ah, right. Yes, it does. It does. It does fit. Pack you, miss. Here we go. Ten yards to cap it off. Wow, that was amazing. I really, really enjoyed that. Whoever made this map hasn't just bunged... Well, maybe they have. Maybe I got lucky. But they haven't just bombarded it with really small, tiny, middle-of-nowhere villages in the plains of Argentina or the jungles of Brazil or the deserts of Africa, um, you know, with no features. They all had a feature, a lake or a shoreline or a, a river you know, that you could use. And there was even more stuff in there, like the way that we figured out it was Australia from the Aussie rules pitch, stuff like that. You know, the port, the deserty port was a good one. So really dig that. That's a great map, whoever made that. Here's the summary. Oh, look at that. They're all in an arc. A beautiful constellation of geo-guessing perfection. That's another first. I've never seen a pattern like that either. Um, wow. Um, I was looking forward to playing that map, but I was kind of dreading it. But in the end, I just thoroughly enjoyed it. Hope you did too. Sorry I couldn't make it a challenge link. Um, it was just playing up. It just wouldn't load as a challenge link. It just wouldn't do it. So I had to do it as a single play. Hope you enjoyed anyway uh, without playing along. Let me know if you want to see me do this again sometime. I'd be happy to, and hopefully the challenge link works next time. I'd be happy to play this again at some point in the not-too-distant future. That was just pure geography, wasn't it? Great stuff. Thanks again. See you next time.